Hello, my name is Hong Jung. I'm an EMDR therapist located in downtown Los Angeles, California. In today's video, I'd like to share what EMDR is so you get an idea how EMDR works. So let's dive in. EMDR stands for Eye Movement, Desensitization, and Reprocessing. It is evidence-based practice for processing trauma. The Francis Shapiro is the developer of EMDR since 1987. The EMDR uses telescopic approach in processing upsetting or disturbing events. And many people who went through EMDR therapy reported that they are able to let go of their old burden, old pain, and start feel and think differently about themselves. Simply put, it's like a visualization exercise while you're maintaining being in the present moment. In today's session, we're going to exercise this EMDR together and I'm going to ask you to identify a stressful situation you want to process and I'm going to ask you to watch and notice that stressful situation while you're tapping your body just like so. Bilateral stimulation is a key element in EMDR. This rhythmic left and right pattern will stimulate both sides of your brain so that it helps you to process effectively that disturbing events and find the good information in your body and mind. I think it's better to experience than explain, so let's get into that. There are two types of bilateral stimulation. The first type is a visual bilateral stimulation, also known as eye movement. This eye movement happens in our deep sleep, the rapid eye movement, our eyes left and right to process our dreams. So in therapy, the therapist will move their finger left and right, and clown will just follow the finger left and right. Another type is tactile bilateral stimulation, also known as tapping. The tapping we're going to use today is called butterfly hug technique. You're going to interlock your thumbs like so, and place gently on the center of your chest. I want you to tap left and right, alternate that. There we go, back and forth. And close your eyes. Let your hands move freely and notice the tapping, notice how you breathe, and also notice what's going on through your mind and your body. There we go, just be with that, go with that. All right, you may stop. Bring your attention back to the room and slowly open your eyes. Oh, how was it? How was your experience with the butterfly hug technique? All right, let's get into processing your stress. I want you to pick mildly stressful situation that happened recently, such as um, stuck in traffic or being late for an appointment, and I'll give you time here. I'm going to ask you a set of questions, so it will be helpful if you can write it down your answer on the paper or on your cell phone. All right, the first question is, what is the worst part of your stressful situation? Go ahead and take your time. When thinking about the worst part, what picture do you see? Maybe you can close your eyes, bring up that worst part, and what picture do you see in mind's eyes? For example, when I was stuck in traffic, I see myself being in the car, making a frowny face, and I see my wife looking at me. So go ahead and take your time to describe that picture. As you look at the picture or think about the memory, what emotion do you notice? And where do you notice those emotions in your body? For example, when I bring up that picture of being, you know, being very frowny and stuck in traffic, I notice that tension around my face. I notice that my shoulder gets lifted up because all tensed up. So describe your physical sensation with that emotions when you think about that worst part, when you think about that picture. On a scale of 0 to 10, 10 being the most intense, 0 is neutral, how much that memory bothered you? In other words, how intense do you feel physically and emotionally? Take your time. And then let's take a look at the thinking process with the memory. The first question is, what negative words go with that memory about yourself using I statement? For example, you can say, I was not in control. I was not good enough. I was inadequate. I was helpless. 
So take your time to think about the negative words associated with this memory. It is important to have a balance in our thinking. So what positive words would you like to believe about yourself using I statement? For example, I am good enough. I am adequate. I am in control. I am uh, important. The list goes on. So take your time to come up with the positive words. Lastly, let's check the validity of the positive words. On a scale of 0 to 7, how true do you feel about the positive words? 7 being completely true, 0 being completely false. Alright, before we begin, just disclaimer, if you feel too overwhelmed or too upset, please immediately stop and go find a safe place to talk to someone or relax your body and mind. Alright, you're going to make your own butterfly and place gently on, your, on the center of your chest and you're going to tap at the speed of my tapping sound. Alright? While you're tapping, you're going to close your eyes partially or fully and visualize a screen in front of you in your mind's eyes. On that screen, you're going to play the stressful situation and you're going to watch just like you're watching a movie. Alright, let's begin. I want you to close your eyes, make your butterfly, put it gently on the center of your chest. I want you to bring up the screen and then bring up the picture of that stressful situation. Bring up that physical sensation that you just described. Bring up that negative words that you just, just described. And you're going to tap at the speed of my tapping. Just let whatever happens, happen. Stay with the tapping. Stay with the screen. Notice the screen from a distance. There we go. Notice that. Let it pass. Let it go. There we go. Notice that. Whatever shows up next. Notice that. There we go. Let it pass. Whatever shows up next. Notice it. Let it go. You are safe. Stay with the tapping. Stay with the screen. In your mind's eye. There we go. You are safe. Notice from a distance. Let it pass. Let it go. That's it. Notice it. Let it pass. Let it go. Go with that. There we go. Go with that. Okay, you may stop tapping. Take a deep breath. I want you to bring up the picture again. How much bother you now on a scale of 0 to 10? How intense the feeling now on a scale of 0 to 10? 10 being the most intense you can get physically and emotionally. 0 is feeling neutral physically and emotionally. Can you write down that number on the piece of paper? Or just remind yourself that number. Make a butterfly again, place gently on the center of your chest and close your eyes partially or fully and bring up that picture, bring up that physical sensations, bring up that emotions, bring up the words, go with that memory and you can start tapping at the speed of my tapping. Again, let whatever happens happen. You just notice from a distance. Whatever shows up, you notice it. Let it pass. Let it go. That's it. Whatever shows up next, notice it. Let it go. 
you're in control of this whole process. That's it. Notice it. Let it go. Stay with the tapping. Stay with the screen. Notice it from a distance. Whatever shows up, notice it. Let it go. That's it. You're in control. And you're safe. Let it go. Let it pass. There we go. That's it. Notice it. Let it pass. Okay, you may stop tapping. Take a deep breath. Just to bring up the picture, bring up the memory. How much bother you now on a scale of 0 to 10? 10 being the most intense, 0 is neutral physically and emotionally. In other words, how intense do you feel about the memory now? Alright, we're gonna do one more time. Make a butterfly, place gently on the center of your chest. Close your eyes, bring up the picture, bring up the physical sensations and your emotions, bring up the words, go with the memory. And you can start tapping at the speed of my tapping. There we go. Let whatever happens, happen. You're just an observer. Let your brain guide you through this healing process. Notice that. And let it pass. Let it go. You decide what's worth keeping, what's worth letting go. You're in control of this whole process. There we go. Notice it. Let it pass. Whatever shows up next, notice it. Observe it. Let it pass. Let it go. Stay with the tapping. Stay with the screen. There we go. There we go. Whatever you feel, whatever you see, notice from a distance, let it pass, let it go. That's it, there you go. You're doing a good job, just let it play. And you notice it from a distance, and let it pass. You may stop, take a deep breath, let's bring up the picture, bring up the memory. How much bother you now on a scale of 0 to 10? 10 being the most intense you can feel emotionally and physically, 0 is you're feeling neutral emotionally and physically. In other words, how intense do you feel about the memory now? How are you feeling now? Did your number go down or go up? Can you tell me what's been helpful and what's been unhelpful? Alright, if you find helpful information, let's go with that and see what comes up. Make your butterfly, put on the center of your chest, close your eyes, bring up the screen and go with that and see what comes up. You can start tapping at the speed of my tapping. Let whatever happens, happen. Notice that. Let it pass. 
let it go. There we go. Notice that. Let it pass. Let it go. You're in control of this whole process. Whatever shows up, you notice it. Let it pass. Let it go. Go with that. There we go. Notice that. Let it pass. Let it go. Stay with the tapping. Stay with the screen. There we go. Notice that screen from a distance. Whatever shows up, notice it. Let it pass. Let it go. That's it. Notice that. Let it pass. We're processing deeper and deeper. Okay, you may stop. Take a deep breath. Let's bring up the picture, bring up the memory. How much bother you now on a scale of 0 to 10? How intense do you feel about the memory, physically and emotionally? What prevents your score from going down? Can you tell me about that? What can you do to decrease that score so that you can feel better completely? And let's take a look at your positive words. When you repeat the positive words to yourself, how true does that feel? On a scale of 0 to 7, 7 being completely true, 0 being completely false. Alright, go with that, go with that. Let's see what comes up. Make, a, make your butterfly, put it on the center of your chest, close your eyes, bring up the screen, let whatever happens happen, go with that. There we go. Stay with the tapping. Stay with the screen. There we go. Notice that. You're in control of this whole process. You decide what's worth keeping, what's worth letting go. There we go. Notice that. Let it pass. Let it go. Stay with the tapping, stay with the screen. Alright, you may stop. Take a deep breath. Bring your attention back to the room. I want you to repeat the positive words again. And how true does that feel now? on a scale of 0 to 7. And what prevents you believing your positive words completely? Can you tell me about that? Or what can you do to reinforce this positive belief? Maybe you want to think about the actions that you can take. We'll stop here today and you've done some great work. And I appreciate your willingness to work with me. And your brain will continue processing and you decide what's worth keeping, what's worth letting go. If you're interested in EMDR therapy, or if you have any questions or concerns, please visit my website at jeongtherapy.com, J-E-O-N-G therapy.com. And please contact me for free 20-minute consultation. I hope that you found our session helpful, and take care of yourself and do your healing every day.